Well, good morning, folks, or good afternoon. I'm not sure when you're listening. It's good to be here with you at this distance on a sunny day here on Saturday. I'm not sure what it is on Sunday, but I hope it's going to be a warm, sunny, pleasant day. We've been waiting for the change of season. We've been waiting for the world to get warmer and brighter, and I think it's going to happen. We're gathered again together with the Call to Be Band and a few folks in the audience, and we are aiming to touch your soul with some songs of praise, maybe a few words of meditation, and we are hoping that you, where you are, are feeling connected with all your family, friends, and relations. Even though materially we are separated, spiritually we are one people because God is one God. So I invite you to open your heart, open your mind, open your spirit, and let God move around you and in you so that you will be blessed, and that blessing will bring goodness to all your relations. Let's have a word of prayer. Gracious God, thank you for the day that you have made. Every day is new. Every day is a surprise when we have our eyes open to see how it is that you move in the earth. We ask you, O oh God, to be present with us here as we sing and speak, but we ask especially that you be present with all those who are watching in their homes, who are listening in their homes. Let them be blessed by your Spirit, O oh God, and in this way, your name will be honored not only here, but in all the earth as we share the good news of your love revealed in the gospel of Jesus Christ. God be with us now and forever. Amen. Good morning, church! Good morning! Good morning. And now it's praise time. Uh, the first song this morning is Come and Let Us Worship God. In this song, there's a couple of lines in here that says, talks about society going astray and being misled. And that, at, at this time of this world right now, we've got lots of things that are sending messages to us through the TV and through internet and filling our minds with all kinds of different messaging. And all that things, those things that are filling up our minds are pushing God astray. And that's where we need to get back, is to put our minds back on God, and then God will fill our hearts and help us to do what we need to do. So please join us as we sing, Come and Let Us Worship God. Oh, I love you, God. We've been 
We are so fortunate to live in a land that has four seasons, four very distinct seasons. And as those seasons change, we can feel it. We can feel it in the wind. And we know right now that the winds have changed and the, the warm weather is being blown in. And with that warm weather brings hope of new life and hope of uh, coming toward some kind of new understanding about how to live in this, in this new pandemic world. And as restrictions loosen a little bit and we are able to even gather in this situation, it brings hope. And the winds are the breath of God. And the breath of God fills us with hope and with light and with love. And in these trying times, it's it's a good thing to remember that when you're out in the wind and you can feel your hair blowing or just it takes your breath away, that that's God infusing life into us. So our next song is called Great Are You, Lord, and we give praise as we experience the breath of God in us. Hebrew song 
And our tradition is rooted in the Hebrew tradition. So listen. Hine matovumanayim shebetachim And that's a song that says, Behold how good and pleasant it is when companions dwell together in unity to live. Unity of the Spirit is the heart and soul of the Christian gospel. As we are united with people all over the earth, we have opportunity to express the good news of God's love for the earth and all of its peoples. We are facing the future with hope, not with fear. That's what faith does for us. Now the Gospel of John is about Jesus going around speaking to the people. And they lived in a time that was deeply troubled. And Jesus was an encourager. Jesus was an inspirer. Jesus was the one who helped people find their way. And what Jesus said to the people in various ways was, hold fast to the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God is truth. And by the Spirit of God, all falsehood is overcome. All error is overcome. All that hurts and harms the world is done away with as we live in the Spirit of truth. Because God is truth. Do you remember Jesus saying, I am the way, I am the life, I am the truth. But this truth, I'd like you to know, is not a doctrine, it's not a precept. It's something beyond our senses. The truth of God is spirit. And as we open our hearts to that spirit, the truth of God fills us and we become a joyful people. We become a glad people. We become a people who celebrate the goodness of life all the ways that we have available to us. Now, in the book of Acts, it speaks about religion. And what the book of Acts, what the apostle is saying is that the gospel of Jesus Christ is not about religion. There are all kinds of religions, and each religion offers us a door, and we can pass through that door, and as we explore the contents of that religion, we have opportunity to discover the presence of God. Because God has inspired people all over the earth to love and serve his purpose. We have opportunity in this time to embrace the goodness of God, to celebrate that goodness, and to share that goodness in all of our relations. We get to be light in the darkness. Now, in the book of Peter, we hear, and this is where my brain sometimes gets soft, and I forget what I was going to say, and that's okay. I'd like you to know that when you are bearing witness, when you are sharing the gospel with people, you don't have to memorize stuff. You just have to speak from your heart. One of the things I enjoy so much about worshiping at the Big Red Church is we have people here in the call to be banned and elsewhere who have the ability to speak from their heart both about the music that they're going to sing, about the text that they've been reflecting on. And ideally, every person who goes to church should be able to speak freely about the love of God. And the key to that is, it's not about the words. It's about the Spirit. 
And if God is in you, when you speak, that spirit communicates. It's a spirit of kindness. It's a spirit of generosity. It's a spirit of goodness. And that's what the world needs right now. So I am encouraging you that this time offers opportunity for us to reconsider our priorities and our commitments. We now have opportunities to say, let's look at the religion we've been following for most of our life, and let's see what's at the very heart of it. And I'd like you to know, at the very heart of it is the Spirit of God. It's like the wind. It comes and goes. Nobody knows where it's coming or going to. But it's life. So let the life of God that is at the very heart of your being come forward in all that you do. Trust that the goodness of God is visible in you even though you have no control over how it is that God lives in you and works through you. Now is the time for us to reconsider what our faith means. And I am hoping that you will realize that faith is the key to a life that will make all of us as people on this planet happy and healthy. Let's get behind the purpose of God Let's give our whole lives to God's will and in this way bring blessing into the world. Amen. receive all the goodness that is available just now, even though it seems 
that there is darkness everywhere, we know that God's light is shining in us and in people all over the earth. Do all that you can to bring good news in and through all of your relations. May grace and peace be with you in the name of God, who is our Creator, in the name of Jesus, who is our Savior, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, who is our guide and our teacher. Grace and peace be with you. Amen. Thank you.